So we uh, do prostrations with the seven branch prayer and um, sometimes we think about different things like um, focus on the uh, different aspects of the seven branches or um, uh, focus on thinking about the um, like the benefits of doing these prostrations or um, think about or, and, uh, how we're purifying um, or uh, how, how we want to pray to the Lama in the form of Guru Rinpoche in this and all, all future lifetimes, including in the intermediate state. And pray, we pray to the um, Lama, who is the embodiment of all objects of refuge in the form of Guru Rinpoche. And um, so we, we pray to them thinking, um, like, Lama, please think of me. Please uh, grant me your, your blessings. Um, Please hold me with your compassion in um, this life, subsequent lives, and between lives, and that's a genius. That's a genius. Yeah. 
So we have to um, pray to the the Lama, who's the embodiment of all the objects of refuge, who a- appears in the form of Guru Rinpoche, whose wisdom mind is indivisible from all the Buddha's wisdom minds, and who's um, indis- indivisible from the the nature of our own mind. We we pray to them thinking um, Lama and Guru Mche, you are my Lama, you are the condensation of all objects of refuge um, you um, you are my Lama who teaches me the path and in essence you are my Lama who's te- who teaches me the path and it, even though in appearance you appear as Guru Mche, and um, I pray to you from from now until I attain the state of Buddhahood in in this life and in the intermediate state of death and the um, intermediate state of becoming and in all future lifetimes in, until I attain the state of Buddhahood I will continue to pray to you so thinking in this way and reciting this prayer, um, the root lama of great kindness appears. Oh, sorry. Um, the complete embodiment of all the Buddhas of the three times, supreme root lama, I pray to you in this life, subsequent lives and between lives, hold me with your compassion. May our blessings flow unceasingly throughout the three times. So thinking this in this way and reciting this prayer, um, we have to accumulate a hundred thousand um, extended prostrations. And then after that, we accumulate the Vajra Guru Mantra. And um, if, we, if we're able to, we should do it um, 10 million times or 100, 100 sets of 100,000. And if we're not able to do that, we can do it. Um, we can do it. Uh, 3,600,000 times, or if we're not able to do that, at the very least, uh, we should do it 1,300,000 times. And that's um, reciting this mantra, Oma Hum Benza Guru Pema Siddhi Hum. Uh, Om represents the all the um, Buddha's wisdom body, and A uh, represents all the Buddha's wisdom speech, and Hong represents all the Buddha's wisdom mind. So these three 
uh, syllables, oma, hung, are the seed syllables of all the Buddha's wisdom, body, speech, and mind. And then the word um, benzer or vajra or uh, dorje in Tibetan uh, represents the the um, dharmakaya, the um, the un unchanging wisdom, completely free from all duality. Then, guru, then. Guru Sangha, Lama Res, Lama Sangha, Sangha Tam, Lama Ta, Lanzhu Zoba Guru, Sangha Tene Tien, Guru Ta Lama Te Tene, Yundan Tam, Jinji Jiva Te, Yundan Tam, Jinji Kurji Jiva Pe Na, Guda Shingam Tam, Jinji Tene, Jinji Tene, Tam Jinji Jiva Sangha Wa Te, Lanzhu Zoba Guru Re Tene, Ti Sangha Res, and then the word guru uh, means lama in Tibetan. And this word refers to the Sambhogakaya because the Sambhogakaya is the um, origin of all the Buddha's um, wisdom qualities. Uh, and so um, the, the lama is the same, the lama is the source of all the qualities of Buddhahood. Um. And then, so so top in it. Randana Shara Song, Vemere. So so top in round, Song, Vemere. So so top in Ishi Karere, Kandasare, Inji. Individually realized wisdom. Dizan, Nimi, Stam, Sambal. And then, um, Pema means lotus, and um, it, it refers to the discerning wisdom, um, the the wisdom speech of the Buddhas, and the the lotus family, and the the lotus Buddha family, and the Nirmanakaya. <laughs> And um, so the discerning wisdom and the um, the manifest yes and and the um, the wisdom speech of the Buddhas that's associated with the lotus family um, magically manifesting is um, the Nirmanakaya Guru Rinpoche or Padmasambhava. So here we have the um, Dharmakaya, the Sambhogakaya, and the Nirmanakaya, or the, the three Kayas, or the three bodies. And the, the three Kayas um, together, indivisible, is Guru Rinpoche. And we uh, pray to Guru Rinpoche, um, thinking of his qualities. And so we recite the Vajraguru mantra thinking that 
Guru Rinpoche is um, the the condensation of all the um, Buddha's body, speech, and mind, of, and of all the three kayas, the Samboga, uh, the Dharma kaya, the Samboga kaya, and the Nirmana kaya. And um, we uh, pray to Guru Rinpoche, reciting this mantra in this way, and we're praying to. Um, Tina and we we pray to Guru Mche, the um, embodiment of all the three um, kayas and the Buddha's wisdom, body, speech, and mind. And we pray to Guru Mche, thinking, please think of me, please grant me all common and supreme cities or accomplishments. And that's what this word um, city in the in the mantra refers to like please grant me all common and supreme accomplishments and so we uh, recite this uh, and then um, whom means like right now please grant me these cities or accomplishments right now right this very moment and so we recite this no time mantra. for burrito. There's no time for burritos. <laughs> um, and uh, so we pray to Guru Mche in this in this way while reciting the mantra. <laughs> And then after you recite the mantra however many hundreds or thousands of times you're going to re recite it, then uh, you receive the four empowerments. When we um, actually receive an empowerment from our Lama, then this is called the um, the empowerment of the basis. And then um, <clears throat> doing self-empowerment as part of practice, or um, how, how we have it here in the Mundro, is called the um, empowerment of the path. And then the empowerment of the result is when we actualized um, wisdom for ourselves, when, when we've um, like actualized the wisdom where the basis and the result are indivisible. Correct. 
the essential thing here is to have um, strong devotion to the Lama and to pray to them and to um, receive the em empowerments of um, body, speech, and mind by the light rays radiating out from the uh, Lama's um, three places. And this is, this is the supreme kind of empowerment. The, the Lamas of the past said, And so white light, really um, brilliant, clear, bright white light radiates out from the Om, the crown of the Lama's head, and radiates out to the crown of our head, and we receive the vase empowerment of, of the wisdom body. And our, through this, our body is ripened, and all of our obscurations of our channels are purified. And um, our, our body is blessed to be the um, manifestation of the wisdom body. And um, the good fortune to be able to attain the um, Nirmanakaya is placed in our mind stream through this. And um, then red light, extremely bright and vivid, clear, Red light radiates out from the uh, ah at the Lama's throat and dissolves into your throat. <coughs> and um, you receive the empowerment of, or you receive the secret empowerment of wisdom speech. How long can the bhajan? And uh, your um, obscure obscurations of um, speech and energy winds are purified. Now there's a song in the lap. And your speech is blessed to be the manifestation of Buddha's wisdom speech. Mm -hmm. And you gain the, um, and the good fortune to attain the uh, Sambhogakaya is placed in your mind stream. Then um, extremely clear, bright, dark blue light radiates out from the hung at the Lama's heart. And this dissolves into your heart and um, purifies your obscurations of mind and tikles. And uh, you attain the uh, wisdom, knowledge, empowerment of the wisdom mind. 
And your mind is blessed to be the manifestation of the Buddha's wisdom mind. And the good fortune and the good fortune to attain the Dharmakaya is placed in your mind stream. And then again from the Lama's heart, um, uh, the essence of the Lama's non-conceptual wisdom mind radiates out as a mass of five-colored light. And it dissolves into your heart. And um, the two obscurations, or the two types of obscurations and all um, habitual patterns are um, completely purified. And you attain the precious word empowerment. And uh, you, you become, and you're blessed to be, become indivisible from um, the Buddha's uh, wisdom, qualities, and activity. And the and you um, gain the or the good fortune to attain the um, so Baba Kakaya is placed in your mind stream and the so Baba Kakaya is the um, indivisibility of of the essence of the three kayas in terms of their um, appearance, uh, appearing aspect there, we have the three different kayas, but in, in terms of their essence, they're all uh, the same or indivisible, and that's the Sobhava Kakaya, or in Tibetan, Ngo Niku. And then the um, Lama um, dissolves into um, into light, into uh, great bliss, light, and um, again there's this uh, tikle or drop of five colored light that dis dissolves into you and your mind and the Lama's wisdom mind uh, become indivisible. And you have to rest in meditation in that state. And 
And then um, after that, we have to dedicate the merit. Um, we have to um, do the aspiration prayers and like um, do the uh, poa prayer and um, dedicating the merit and all that. Really, um, this um, embodiment of the Buddha's uh, wisdom or this embodiment of the Buddha's three kayas is indivisible from yourself, but we don't um, we don't recognize this. Because our our mind is emptiness, and that's the Dharmakaya. And its its nature isn't complete uh, blank emptiness, but its nature is clarity, and that's the Sambhogakaya. And um, these two are indivisible and together they're the um, all pervasive compassion so um we have um, the three kayas as the um, basis of our being, and then we receive empowerment when we practice on the path from the Lama, and um, that makes it, um, makes it so that we can make these three kayas manifest. And <laughs> And in His Holiness Dudra Mimche's Wonder Commentary, he says that. Don't say Mimche. Sorry, don't say Mimche. Sorry, in Don't say Tinli Norber Mimche's Wonder Commentary, he says that. Uh, the signs of having received the vase empowerment of wisdom body include uh, our attachment to our uh, friends and relatives and possessions and material enjoyments w will be decreased. <laughs> Shagakam. 
Tindrecetene, So okay. we, uh, we have to practice Guru Yoga and receive the four empowerments in this way. And then actually at, at all times, whatever we're doing, whether we're um, sitting or standing or going or staying or um, eating or sleeping or whatever, we always have to be practicing Guru Yoga. We always have to um, visualize the Lama Guru either in our heart center or at the crown of our head and practice Guru Yoga constantly. So please practice Guru Yoga nicely in that way. Thank you, that's it for today. <laughs>